So, want to build a robotics team? Easy, right? Gather some robot parts, some friends, and boom! You're ready to dominate the world! Well, kind of. Stick around to learn, and remember to bring your safety helmet. First thing first, you will uh, have to grab some people for your team. Um, you can have up, uh, from 2 up to 15 people, but don't just grab anyone who's free after school. Put some talk into it. Uh, you will want to have a mix of coder, builders, and uh, people who can hire up your team. Maybe also try to find some snack guy too. People who bring snack. No, 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 trust me on this. Snack are just as important as anything else. If you don't know where to find your team members, just maybe just try to find your friends, uh, people from your club, or your neighbors. If they love problem solving, or just like robots in general, they go golden apple right for the picking. Next level. Next, you need a coach, an adult who can be your mentor. Think of them like your team's Gandalf, except they don't necessarily need to know anything about robots. They just need to be ready to learn. What's important is that they are there to support you, help you with logistics, and maybe even learn robotics with you. Quick tip, find someone passionate about STEM, or at least be very patient. Yay! To register your team, just hop on the first website, uh, fill out the registration form, and pay your fee. Boom, you're officially in the game. Next level. Wow. Merry Christmas. Now the fun really start unboxing your kit and see what kind of crazy Yay, robot you repair. And hey, if it's okay, if things don't go right on the first try, that's how all the best robots start by falling apart and then coming back together. Unless you're secretly a millionaire or maybe a billionaire, you'll need to fundraise. Robots are cool but they are not cheap. Time to get creative. Sell cookies, wash cars, pitch to local businesses, do whatever you need to raise those funds. Nevertheless, remember, people love supporting local students and cool STEM projects. You've got this. When making your robots, remember to uh, divide your team into different roles, builder, coder, and drivers. Uh, get ready for some trial and error at first because more often than not, things will go wrong. But don't you worry because that's all part of the process. You will learn what works and what doesn't when you're making your robots. Next level. Well, it's time to compete, but remember, it's not just about winning the game, it's about learning, bonding, and making awesome memories with your team. Plus, there's nothing cooler than seeing your bot running, right? Now that you know how to build your very own FTC team, what are you waiting for? Get out there, gather your squad, and build something awesome. Who knows, you might be building the next champion robot. And of course, see you on the battlefield.